Hello my unique queens, Kiana Unique here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we about to do something to this hair with the Do Line. I am so excited to try this product out. As you can see, it came in a boom box box. That was a winner as is, but you see I have the full line here that I am about to give a life to this hair. Let's do a dance before we begin. Starting off with the Sucker Free Moisturizing Shampoo that gently cleanses and hydrates with shea butter and sea silk. This packaging alone is amazing. I love the bright colors and everything like that. And as you can see, this is a new bottle. I wanted to make sure that I did not try any of these things so that way I can give you a true first impression and review. I really like the light scent of this shampoo and I put a lot in my hair for this first time as you can see because I am used to shampoos not lathering well this lathers very very well so as you can see I had so much there my hair was definitely clean in that first section <laughs> So clean, so, so clean, but a little bit goes a long way. So for this next section and the rest of my sections, I did not put as much in my hair. And I simply worked it and massaged my scalp to make sure I got all the dirt out of the scalp and then worked it through my hair all the way to the ends and then I rinsed it out. I only used it once because I did not use a lot of products um, with my hairstyle before so I did not have a lot of product build up. After rinsing the shampoo out, my hair feels clean and soft and I haven't even done the conditioner. Which brings us to the conditioner. The conditioner is a fresh rinse moisturizing conditioner that deeply hydrates and smooths with the shea butter and silk in it as well. This has a really light scent also. I learned my lesson with the shampoo to not put so much in my hands. So I started off with a light amount and really worked it through my hair. And I needed a little bit more for my ends, but this definitely had a lot of slip. I was able to detangle my hair very, very well. I finger detangled a little bit first and then I went through with my wide tooth comb and this conditioner made it a breeze to do so. And so I went section by section. I started off with a small section because I was not sure if I was gonna be able to detangle well, but after it proved itself, I used larger sections to detangle while moisturizing in this conditioning process. This is my hair after I have shampooed and conditioned. I love the way my hair smells. It's not heavy perfume smell. It's very light, very natural. My hair is soft, well detangled, which is a plus. And now here is the real test, is the styling products, you guys. I, this is the part that sold me on getting it was the styling products. I was able to feel these products at the um, Hair Expo show. And I'm starting off with the Bonita Afro Balm Texture Cream. Now on this cream, it says that you can apply to wet or dry hair to control frizz. 
and it moisturizes. This is really good for twist outs, braid outs, or your um, wash and goes. But I am going to use this on my hair to add moisture, of course, to my style, but I am going to twist my hair at the roots for length so it is working for what it needs to work for and then i'm just going to brush through with my detangle brush now we're moving on to the mousse def texture foam with high definition and control this foam is so soft i really like the texture of it very very light and so I work that through my hair and then I'm using my detangle brush again before I start twisting my roots. So I twist the roots slightly and then when I get halfway through my hair, I am going to brush it again with the detangle brush to make sure all of the hair clumps together. And I am going to put a prim rod at the end because this is a lengthened prim rod set that I'm trying to get. So I'm not gonna wrap it all the way up to my scalp because I want to have a little bit of length. So I'm just gonna repeat these steps. I'm going to use the Afro Blom and then I'm going to use the Mousse Def. And I'm gonna repeat this back and forth with twisting to the roots halfway, then using the prim rod set at the end. I want to stop and show you how much definition I have in my hair right now. But here, this is the last one. I haven't sprayed any extra water on my hair, just as a FYI. I just kept going right on through using the Afro Balm, then the mousse and twisting at the roots and adding the prim rod on the end. I have my full head done and it's time to move on to the last product. This is the Light Weightless Shine Mist for thermal protection and shine enhancing, enhancement, I guess. Anyway, I spray this lightly over my entire head because I will be sitting underneath a dryer for about an hour. So after the hour has passed and I decided to put on a little bit of lipstick for you guys and change my shirt, it is time to take the prim rods out. I am so impressed at the bounce in my curls as well as it did not leave my hair crunchy. There was no foam on there as I'm taking them loose. I'm so, I'm more and more impressed. <laughs> I can't say how impressed I am. I don't even know if it shows in the video, but I'm telling you right now, I was so super impressed just taking these down, how nice it was. I did notice I had one that was still damp, but I said I cannot go back and dry it. The show must go on, 
but it being damp did not mess up the hairstyle. I'm telling you this now before you guys see the final results because it didn't mess it up at all. Normally it would frizz like crazy, but it did not. So anyway, now you see me here taking the twist part a loose. I'm gonna take all of the twists to loose and then I'm going to also separate the curls a little bit more so I'll have it a little bit more fuller. have it completely taken a loose I am going to use once again that textured cream to use on my edges and sides here to help me brush it to one side now this is just one style that I tried once my hair was completely done Overall, I am super impressed with the do line. I love my curls. They're super bouncy, super soft. Every product in the line, I can see myself using them together as well as separate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, you guys, be unique. See you next week.